you need to apply and network with these top three recruiters in remote sales. And this is strictly based on reputation, transparency, the results, my own experience or my network's experience with them. And there's no specific order to any of these mentions. So there's no rank one, rank two and rank three. And I have automatically disqualified recruiters that charge salespeople for placement. Legit recruiters get paid from business owners by placing reps, not the other way around. For a new person to break into remote sales, it is quite tough to separate the bad and the good. By the end of this video, you'll have an exact idea on who the more trusted recruiters are so you can start off on the right foot. I'm on a mission to provide the best remote sales content here on YouTube. What others will charge $10,000 for, I'm providing you for free all on this channel, right? So let's just dive in. The first recruiter is the one by far most reputable and is often known for his consistency in all areas, both results and transparency within his communication. And that is Zach Brown at Sales Pipeline Pros. The application process at Sales Pipeline Pros to become a candidate in his pipeline is spectacular. He gives tons of free information to present yourself well, so your chances of even getting on an interview increases, right? For you to have a chance at landing a job with SAC or with anybody else, you need to sell yourself to the business hiring that you are the right fit, that you are committed, that you're willing, that you're capable of doing the job. And that is the only way SAC and anybody else will be able to place you. And SAC's free information will help you increase those odds of getting placed. SAC is the most consistent regarding emailing and posting jobs. You know, five days ago, I remember, I remember receiving a, an, an email from SAC he emailed nine additional available roles, right? So he provides a lot of free value through emails and on his Facebook. And I've recently seen his Facebook. Um, he's doing these podcast lives with guests. So yet again, providing tons of free insights. So I recommend following him. Um, however, consistency does not guarantee that. Yeah, everybody who message SAC will get a role, you know, that's not how it works. Um, consistency does not guarantee that everyone will land a role through SAC. I mean, he's the most consistent guy, but each one of these roles are highly competitive and there's only a limited amount of roles. But what you have control over is making sure that he knows you exist. He's grateful that you exist and he values your existence. So you always want to lead with giving value and I'll put all the links in the description for you to check out after or during the video. But after Zach Brown, there is one dude that sales reps will leave till the end. When in reality, it should actually be one of the first people you get to know. The duo is Dean Kosora and Sean Ray at Hardly Selling. And I have to be clear that these two are not recruiters right? But they take care of sales team management and sales team training for companies. Besides the value they bring on Facebook and overall remote sales, it will happen from time to time that sales positions and sales roles gets posted on their profiles because of the team that they manage for the company grows. And all of a sudden there's one or two or three spots open and they'll post it on their profile. So if you show up like a decent human being, you add value and you'll be a good sport. You'll make sales easier. You'll make business easier. You'll make building relationships with new people easier. So getting to know recruiters is just as important as getting to know sales team management companies, right? Like Dean and his crew, they are just one out of very many others, right? I favor these guys as my entire network literally speak very highly of them. And I follow their social media and I've seen the roles that they are posting and they are to a very good quality. But you always want to lead with value. If you know of any companies 
that are looking for sales management. That is the crew I would go with. And as kind of like PS, from my knowledge, they don't have a candidate pipeline like SAC does, right? So you can't apply for a pipeline or send in resumes, stuff like that. But if you decide to message them, check out their content first. Do not put the expectation on them that they need to provide anything for you. You should be the one who leads with value. The next recruiter I'm about to share with you is Nick Elia at Winnet Sales and Done For You Sales. So Winnet Sales um, is where the recruiting is done and Done For You Sales is sales management for business owners. So just like Dean and Sean, these guys are huge, right? There are many others within the recruitment team that are less busy than Nick that can help direct you to the right resources, to the right job board, to the available roles or um, bring you on in the uh, pipeline or bring your application onto the pipeline. From just joining their Facebook group, you will be greeted by one of their moderators. And I'd say, if you need anything, just message back. The person that I that messaged me is one of the recruiters and moderator of their Facebook group. Although I haven't been in con contact with their team before that or had any roles, you know, I'm not within their pipeline. From what I hear from everyone, literally from anyone in my network, they are trusted in the industry by the people that I trust. And that trust carries over to me, right? From what I've heard, these guys are top notch along with Zach and along with Dean, right? And I also, I also save the best for last, the honorable mentions, right? Because top three, top four, top five, that, that does, you know, top three sounds a lot better, right? Um, honorable mentions, Jake Queen at Rep Lineup, Colin Hammerquist at Source Careers, Joel Elster at Nomadic Closer, and Alexander Riker at Prism Inc. I will link all of their profiles in the description. So if you want to follow their social media, I recommend that you do. Opportunities can appear left and right. Sometimes I don't even see the opportunities before they're gone. So the opportunities go pretty quickly, stay updated, follow the journey, be on the lookout, be in touch, be around them, add value to them. This is it. And as always, um, if you need any help, uh, I don't care how stupid you think the question is or uh, anything like that, but you can always DM me on Instagram or send me an email. There's a couple of people who's emailed me, right? Very surprised from that. Instagram email with a question or you need help and I will get to it. If you need more training or more knowledge on how to break into remote sales, I have a two hour guide here on YouTube completely for free. You can open up my channel and just watch it right away, but I'll probably link it right up here.